What an artificial neural network does is simply compute a function from an input signal to an output signal. The input is encoded in the input layer. Then some processing occurs in the hidden layers, if there are any. Then finally, the output is encoded in the output layer. Layers are also called activation vectors. By vector, I simply mean a group of numbers, which you can picture as being a range in columns, as in these two examples. An activation vector has as many components as there are units in the layer. The input layer encodes the network's representation of the input stimulus at a given moment and is constituted by the activation levels of all the input units. So this is the vector for the input layer, which I've called layer 0. Each number corresponds to the activation value for a unit in the layer. The subindex identifies each unit, and the superindex the layer itself. So the number at the top is the activation level of the first unit in layer 0. The second is the activation level for the second unit, also in layer 0, and so on. Hidden and output layers can also be thought of as activation vectors. So here I've called the first hidden layer 1. So the top number is the activation for unit 1 in layer 1, etc. Finally, the output layer can also be represented as a vector. And it is the system's final reaction to the initial stimulus, as it were. In short, a connectionist network computes a function from input vectors to output vectors. The input vector might be an encoding of a particular question, or an object that must be recognized, or a stock whose future you want to predict. The output is the answer to the question, or the category into which the object is classified, or the future value of the stock. For a network with only one input layer, an output layer, the solution consists in coming up with an appropriate set of weights for the connections between the two layers. When you have hidden layers, however, you also have to find out a system of weights and activations for the hidden units. The process of settling into appropriate weights and activations so as to match output to input is what counts as learning in the case of a neural network. To do this, the network must be equipped with a learning algorithm. But before we talk about learning, let's first see an example of a network representing a simple problem. Bye.